Hi, you artists and residence types. I'm Seth Shostak here to tell you about this month's Artists in Residence Challenge. And it's the Arecibo Radio Telescope. You know, the one down in Puerto Rico where a cable broke in August. That was kind of bad news, and it looked like it was going to be pretty expensive to repair the dish. Well, in November, another cable broke, and then in December, the whole thing kind of collapsed, or at least the feed assembly did, and that was bad news. The National Science Foundation says they can't afford to fix it. Well, that may be, that may not be, we'll see. But meanwhile, this icon of radio astronomy is for you to wreak your imagination, your creative juices on. Now, this telescope is a thousand feet, or was, a thousand feet across. It's 18 acres of, of, of telescope, big. I once reckoned it could hold two billion scoops of Baskin Robbins, but nobody would ever do that down in the warm climate they have in Puerto Rico. In any case, it was so big, it was extremely sensitive. It could pick up, you know, the faintest signals from the heavens. So it was used to study quasars, well, but mostly it was used to study pulsars. It found the first planets around another star. It was used for SETI. I used it for studying galaxies. I mean, it had lots of uses. Whenever the signals were weak, Arecibo was there to find something. So this is up to you. Do something. Create something that's imaginative. You can find plenty of pictures about it online. Oh, and speaking of pictures, this one back here, uh, that, that's something that I picked up at a fire sale in, in Paris. I, I think that was done by Claude Monnet or whatever his name is.